y'all. About 15. Put the meat in the pot. And put meat in the pot. Now I'm gonna put water in the pot. Put the water in the pot. Put the meat. Grandma washing the collars. This is her method right here. Let's check on this um this piece of meat. Grandma got the meat smoking. to take the meat out put the greens in. so she could put the collard greens in then I put the meat back in there after get the collard and then she placed her meats back in the collards after she puts the meat out take after she takes the meat they can see that Now she's fitting to put the bones back in the pot. And let them cook with the collard greens. And let them cook with the collards again. I don't know a lot about collards, but my history with collards is just growing up here in rural northeastern North Carolina, going to my grandmother's house. Um, every Sunday for lunch. My grandmother would usually have collards on the table about every other Sunday and I had to eat a little bit of everything that was on the table whether I liked it or not. Um, my daddy would usually put vinegar on the collards for me when I was growing up but now I'd rather have my collards without vinegar. I think they taste better that way. Um, the best seasonings I think um, I wasn't in the kitchen when my grandmother was cooking them but I think I've heard my mother say like hog jowls or ham hock, and I know they use crushed red pepper. Um, summer, winter, or fall collards, I don't know the difference. I think I've heard somewhere along the way that winter collards are better, and I know that my family tends to eat them now in, at Thanksgiving and Christmas, so I guess they might be winter collards. Um, I never learned how to fix them, but I guess if somebody was going to teach me, it would have been my grandmother or one of my aunts or my mother, but my mother doesn't cook them very much either. We have sense enough to let somebody else cook them. and We just go by the Shamrock or King Chicken or Griffins or Shaw's and pick up some good collars for our family to have.